Good day, YouTube. How are you doing today? I am the Trish Etkin, and welcome to episode 27 of our DNS Tech Pack Let's Play Season 2. How are we all doing uh, today? So, last episode we failed hard at the end of this. This thing, I guess, doesn't get, can't be pushed by those things. So, I dug it all up and ended up with these. Also, I have made quite a few more of our endoplasms. Just a couple more. Uh, and I've also made an extra two more of our mana spreaders, and we're going quite nicely. We're over halfway now, brilliant. Uh, we've also used about three stacks of our enriched coal, and it looks like we're about to use a fourth one. Also, up in our little, let me double jump up here, uh, our little area up here, as you can see, you can tell by the noise, and the very large amount of sleep bars, I'm guessing that's how many we've got left. Uh, we are going away, we're chewing up lapis now. Uh, I've put another one of the exporters on the back and I've put a few ores there, just a couple of these to be spared. Doing lapis, nickel, enriched coal, whatever, platinum, draconium sitting there, ready to be processed when and if it gets to us. Uh, and this thing is going to do the aluminium. Which is about dead. It's the last thing I've got in the tape deck for anyway. Because we do have... That's it. No, no more bricks. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I can double jump up there now. It's so much handier. Let's uh, charge up the wireless grid. Hello. Let's see how much. Do you any more? Any more? Down the side. So yes, now that we've got all of that uh, stuff set up out here, I'm hoping, seriously hoping, it is going to be. I mean, we're, we're over. We're over halfway now. I mean, surely, I, I, I'm like ninety percent sure it only needs half a half. It says on it, uses equivalent to about half a mana source. So I'm over a good bit over half a mana source. Let's try for two. Let's try for two. Come on, guys, we can do this. Sleep while I'm waiting. Come on. We can do this. Uh, if you have more uh, sparks, it goes quicker, by the way. It's a limited amount it can transfer by. So that's about half. Yes! Yes! Got ourselves some mana steel. Woohoo! <laughs> about bloody time. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that's not all we need. But we're getting close to our what we need to do. So we've got our Terra Steel. Let's go back to the Alchemancy in the Port of Alchem. So we need eight living wood blocks. I'm pretty sure we can manage eight living wood blocks. Eight of those. We also need three glimmering living wood. Some glimmering living wood. It's not listed here, but I'm pretty sure it's just that and glowstone. Maybe? Maybe two of them. I guess you could say. Crafting grid, do 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 da do. It is just eight, eight, eight of them. Then we need one Elven Gateway Core, which is three nuggets and six grapevine. Oh, we've actually got enough wood for those. Oh, wow. Let's, uh, let's get making more of that. Dearie me, can't believe we ran out of wood. Uh, what else do we need? Oh yeah, we've got uh, these mana pools and two natura, natura pylons. Which is mana pylons, terra steel, eye of enders. So just go through mana pylons. We need mana steel, mana diamonds. So let's get some diamonds. We need one, two, three, uh, two, three. Oh, I forgot my. Never mind. I'll wait. And iron. Two diamonds, but come. Say la vie. Let's go here into the pylon. Three mana pylons. Two. Then we need a natura pylon, which is eye of ender. Let's get a wire 
Let's grid that again. We need Ender Pearls. Sure. Ah, we don't have any bloody blaze rods. I'm gonna have to go to the nether and get blaze rods, aren't I? Because you be me, I don't have any. Also, after we make this wood, I'm gonna have to make some stone as well. Right, what's the good way? I need extra I think I've got quite a bit. I need two two tools. Yay, I finally made two tools. Right, we've also got to figure out where I'm going to put this. It's probably going to be here. That's where I'm going to be actually building this thing. So, yeah, let's let's get our chest here and ingot nuggets. Let's make ourselves a carbon core now. Let's get nine of those. Is this enough to do what we need to do? I haven't got any core. Mana pile on with our thing that we need. Please. So, I've got to put some stuff in here. Do that. I'm going to go into my bobble case. Search for my double jump for my pyro stuff. And I'm going to go to the nether. I'm going to see how it works. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Eh, this creepy ass place again. So where's our blaze? It's way over there. How far over there? Uh, I can't remember how to actually get there. I should make a proper path over here. Pretty sure it's... Oh, it's this way. Just gotta watch them because some bloody weather skeletons stalking the area. some blazes to spawn. And let's see how I'm sure I now don't take damage in fire. No, I still take damage in fire. Oh, I don't catch fire. I don't catch fire. See that? I didn't actually... <laughs> still take the damage from it, but I don't actually stay on fire. That'll make things just a little bit easier. You know what? Two will do for now. I'll come back and get more at later date. Two will do for now. Turn my jump back on. Just need this. <laughs> Let's jump over all of you. Whee! Really got to watch that because there is lava beneath where my portal is. <laughs> Never tell fate to jump off every edge you see. No matter how tempting it is. It's being very tempting. Do, 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 do. Get these two pieces of coke. Uh, what's the most efficient way? I get four from the crusher. Crusher bit's got a big backlog over there. It's guaranteed to have a big backlog. I did get four from the sag mill, so I'll put it to the sag mill. So this stuff in here. And oh we needed uh ender pearls. Them. So we can make ourselves a couple of piles of ender. Let's make ourselves two of the pylons. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What we also need is where we put this. So if I go across, we've got a visualize button as well for this. Oh, things have changed as well in the game. I completely forgot. Did I actually skip a boss in the game again? Uh, maybe didn't. So let's have to put this like here. Oh, let's go here. So it's changed up sli somewhat slightly. Uh, two, you just need two mana pools with the pattern that should have piled above them to be somewhere. They don't even need to be right next to it anymore. It doesn't have to be in a specific placing or anything. Brilliant. Let's 
structure complete. Yeah, so now I could actually left him in the corner to like plant spy. I probably will plant spy actually at some point. I don't know if these will be chisels. That'd be cool if they could be chisels. No, they can't. That's alright. I can you do get slabs and other fancy versions of them if you know what I mean. So you can get more teeth platforms if you want. You can slab them and I'm pretty sure there's something else you can do with them. Planks. Ah, I think you change the planks into other things, that's right. So you change the planks into you know, things like the framed patterns ones and yeah, things like that. Okay, but right now we're not gonna bother. Because we need to get our two mana pools. Oh wow, we've run out of coals of mana pools. Let's get our two of these. And let's put them. I suppose they could be a little bit away. I could just put them both here. Yeah, is that in the way though? Ah, not really. It's a bit tight, but it doesn't really matter. Let's put that through our pylons. Let's get two more uh, sparks for you. Yeah, let's get some sparks. So we've got our blaze powder, dust, and just petals. We need to get some petals. Yeah, we've got this. So I think it was gold in the middle, blaze on the side, petals come down. Oh, come on, just come down. I'm still every shape and form. So if I just not really right click and right click, you can't. You can kind of see them through the mana pylons, but that's that's unconnected. Uh, but that's we can't do that really just now, can we? Let's get one of the blades here. I suppose you could do it. I suppose we could do that. That one. We need a decent amount of mana to start it up, so let's get another. Stuff of you, stuff of you, you should get quite a bit more. Maybe I should think about making this next tier of this stuff. So let's let's craft it. And I think we need a scientific calculator to make that here an enriched gold. Pretty sure I can do that. Oh, do I actually have the sign? No, I don't have the scientific calculator. So I need to make it as well. So scientific calculator is crafted. By some enriched gold, reinforced stone. Let's actually get the calculator for this. Let's see if I can have it. So I'd calculate it later so I can see what's happening. Let's get inside. And we need. Because we need basically. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> and I'm back. Sorry about that. I literally just. Okay. I pushed the buttons on the keyboard by mistake and I fell. Okay. Never mind. Uh, what were we doing? Calculator! That's right, I remembered. Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't forget what I was doing at all. So, what have we actually got out of this? We've got those things, so I need another of these screens. I need some reinforced stone, which is stone and wood. So we need uh, three stone. Was it cobblestone or was it normal stone? Uh, it was cobblestone. So let's get a bit of that, if we can. a decent amount because I'm going to do some more calculator work in the future so stack that up for now will do nicely and I also needed this enriched gold which I believe was gold and so it's enriched gold dust that I need so it's gold and redstone it just needs to be redstone and just be gold I won't craft I know I'll need some of this but I'm not going to craft a ridiculous amount of it I'm not even going to turn that all into stuff. I'm just going to turn like half of it into okay. Yours to me again. So, so, so. So you should all be going into there. So it should be enough already to make a scientific calculator. It is enough to make a scientific calculator. So, oh yeah, you need energy. I'm going to have to watch that at night time. With all these machines running, it's going to... I'm almost flattening my whole battery during the night. So I might have to actually start remembering to go to sleep through the night. <sighs> yeah. As I say, I will be doing other calculator stuff as well. So, to make myself the enriched gold, I'm going to 
is. Oh yeah, I, I, I needed the Grish to purify gold. So I should have actually gold for that. I should have gold done that. So I purified and that's 10 rather than 5, so I'm like doubling the power here. I don't know if it's worth it, but it is doubling it, but you're spending more gold and more other things. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I had to restart my client, by the way, when I, when I stopped there, so that's why it's still, like... So yeah, that's going to take a wee while before I can actually open that portal, because I do believe it takes a... Not a lot of mana, but it takes a decent amount, I suppose. The... I don't think it actually tells you the exact amount it uses. It just says substantial amount of mana deposit in the pools to open up. The cost is divided between them all. The portal seems to be able to extend mana through it, but the mana is required for six of transactions. Yeah. Uh, so, so basically, I just have to wait uh, for that all to happen, and I'll just keep on filling this up. I might even just throw coal in there to be all the fair. Because, I mean, I've got all that coal. You know what? Yeah. I'm just going to throw a few stacks. Even though I've just made that scientific calculator. Scientific calculator is used for some other bit in that calculator mod anyway, so I do need it at one point or the other. Still, uh, you know. Yeah, there's a few things left. Yeah, not many, but there's a few things left. But as you can see, that's all starting up. So this will, as I say, take a while. Because I've only got this one here going into... I could just make another mana spreader, actually. Let's see if we can make another mana spreader. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember. Gold. Don't remember. Even. So I've got that one going to one, and this one here going to that one. There we go. So they'll be spreading that out into these two. It'll take time. It'll take a lot of time. Not a lot of time, but it'll take time. Maybe a week. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I've kind of lost half the track here. Because I can't open this now, I'm going to be stuck not being able to do it yet. But that's not the end of the world. Benevolent goddess charm. There's actually a few things in here that I've not I've not done yet. So while worn, the cost of some mana, the wear's inventory. Any explosions that happen within the wearer's nearby vicinity cease to damage any blocks in the world. Hey, that's a pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I quite like that one. So, like, if you've got lots of uh, creepers about or something, you can whack that on them. No problem at all. I like it. Third eye. Oh, wow. Mobs will be highlighted. Again, and that is really pretty cool. Animated torch. Cool, cool. Another cool thing that's added. Uh, ooh, 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 there's one thing. I feel I have a few over here. Just in case. Grab that potato. Some of you already know what I'm going to do. Others don't. Yay! Just be friends! Now you can actually name them, and they'll do other different things, so don't get me wrong. You, you, can't, they're, they're, you can't name that guy. They do other things. It's always kind of cool. Things like that added in. So that's gaining mana quite quickly. That's gaining mana. I mean, it is gaining mana really quickly. From being near empty, from making that one piece of terra steel, to that, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. Uh, so we have been, going on, have been going on about making power, haven't we? I mean, th there is power I can generate from uh, calculator, but I think I'm going to start. I'm going to make a generator or two from extra utility gold. 
So although we have done a bit from that, just to make sure. Yeah, so there, there is uh, a couple of different ways with characters. There's these, the pugs and something else. You can craft, make power with that. There's also the weather station and the conductor mast. Those two together also generate. The weather station creates more lightning strikes on a conductor mast than charged ones. There, there is something to do with the calculator of pugs, but I can't remember exactly. There is this info calculator that I could make. It's kind of like the book, if you will, of the mod. If, oh my god, it's loud upstairs. <laughs> Why did I put everything upstairs? Whose idea was that? Whose brilliant idea was that? Putting all my automated stuff upstairs and making it stuff that doesn't actually have any use to itself. Whose brilliant idea was that? So, oh, looks like we're on Draconium dust there. So we must be actually getting pretty close to the end, because Draconium War is right there. So unless it's gone past some of the other stuff, which is not possible. It's not possible at all. Let's uh, see what we can type in the box. We've got any grit there, without dust. So we've got Zinc Dust, Platinum Dust, some Draconium Dust. We've got a lot of Draconium Dust. That is dang. Nice and 69. Oh, we're getting more as well, that's even better. So we could put the zinc and platinum dust to do this thing. So it sounds like this is actually finished. It has. So I didn't see what that was dropping in there, but you know, that's that's pretty cool. So we can we can upgrade from there. So yeah, we made the info calculator. Uh, and with it, it does tell us a lot of different things. So it should actually say uh, machines generation. So different things make different. So these calculator plugs so yeah as you can see it's something to do with the transmitter used to generate RF when paired with conductor mass and weather station can alter the ionosphere increasing the frequency of power and the locate when plug is used to stabilize the locator to avoid any dangerous sound effects I wonder if that's maybe side effects or sound effects. So, so basically it's the conductor mass and the weather station is, 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 is what I'm looking at in that box. But I think, uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what I think I'm going to use is the, put these things away from here. I'm going to use extra utilities just to make a little bit of extra power on the side. Uh, and I, did, I do know I said I was going to do the advanced stuff, but I think just because these have been added in very recently, I think it's not a bad idea just to actually jet use some of them. I mean, it's it'll be used kind of like as a bit of a, a sort of more like a backup generator, just something to help through the night, maybe. So we've got frost. Let's actually just go through them all. We've got culinary generators, which we handy if I automated food, which I suppose I could with cake, couldn't I? A, a, a disenchantment generator, so throw things with enchantments on it. Endering generator, if I had a way to harvest ender pearls at a better rate. Yeah, explosive generator, anything that blows up. Frosty generator, things that are cold. Normal furnace, furnace generator. Uh, halitosis generator, so that basically means anything that smells bad. Uh, halitosis is the condition of bad breath, basically. Uh, heated redstone, so I guess. Redstone? Take a wild guess here in the dark. Uh, magmatic lava, of course. Nether star, I don't have to explain that to you. Overclocked generator, I presume just a generator that goes faster. Pink generator, anything that's pink. Potions, potion generator, slimy, slime, survivalist, normal. Undeath generator, that can be quite handy. You know, you just have any, like when I had that, uh, the uh, drop fa mob drop farm over there, and just use that as the generator, that would be pretty handy. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all the general generators. Oh, there's also one called the rainbow generator. Now, this is something crazy. You have all of the generators, you have to craft all of them, yeah, for both slabs, because there's, there's enough for that, for the generators. So you, you stick them together and you get the rainbow generator. Now this rainbow generator can create, I think it's roughly one million RF per tick, but it only generates power when all of the other generators are also working. So you've got to have all of them working before you can generate any power with that one. But I mean, a million RF, that's that's a lot of RF. So maybe we might go down that road at some point, at some point. Just, you know, just kind of make it 
I don't even know if you call it end game because it's tough to have some way to automatically kill the weather as well set up so it can be uh, killed easily. Like, just, we'll see. So so we've got other generators here that we can use as backup. So maybe maybe like an overclocked one for now because it's just going to be a general. I mean, I could just use a bloody generator from this and put that in, but no. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about thousands of RF tech and losing at night time, so maybe even those generators might not quite be enough even. So it might not be a terrible idea to actually think about the slightly better advanced generators, which I was going to do before anyway. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, I th I think we'd do advanced generators because it could be used as our backup sort of stuff. So that looks like it's still going on those fuckers, doesn't it? Uh, you are filling up nicely. So are you guys. Not quite enough to open that portal yet. I'm going to let these basically just get full. Just completely fill up to the gunnels. Uh, I think that's the best for me to do. And coal does go a lot quicker <laughs> than the enhanced coal stuff. But yeah, advanced generators. That's what we're going to use for our secondary power. Uh, so advanced generators, I quite like this mod. I, I have used it in the last playthrough of DNS, in the 1.8, 1.7, 1.7 possibly. Uh, and I'm going to use it here as well. So for it, we need a lot of iron. Luckily, we have got a decent amount of iron right now. Uh, did I not get you up in light yet? It doesn't bloody matter. I seem to have also a ton of graphite dust, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to use sing gas. As you can see here, I've got over a 1k. Oh, 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 I was wrong thing. Uh, anyways, deal with that later. So, what we need is gas turbine. Yeah, we need a gas turbine. We've got gas ter oh, oh, needs a controller chip as well. Luckily, that's easy to make. Gas turbine. Now, luckily, it actually tells you what to attach to it. What, what to what you need for it. So, I'm pretty sure it's gas turbine. I know there's a few things I do need. But that's fine. I mean, same gas producer as well. So let's let's start off with the syngas producer because that's a first make the first machine first it'll be easier. So I need heating chambers and mixing chambers. So that's one to five. So I think we need one heating chamber to one mixing chamber. That's I think it's what it was. Like I I'm, I'm kind of doing this out of my out of memory. So I need. So let's say. One heating chamber to five mixing chambers. I'm sure that's the way around with those. I'm sure that's the way around with those. One heating, five mixing. Is it five mixing? Uh, one mixing and five heating? Nah, can't be that way. It's got. It's got to be that way. It's got to be that way. It's got to be that way. If not, I screwed up, and that's the end of that. <laughs> we have a lot of one thing more than the other. So I think I will be doing this downstairs in our proposed IC2 room. But because it's very nice down here, I'm going to put it in here as well. So we're going to put it in the wall. We're going to hide most of it though, so I'm going to put like that hide. That hide. Hide. It's going to be back here. What more marble is this? We'll need a decent space back here. And we've got more than one machine room to put here as well. So let's put that there. There'll be two separate machines for this. So if I've got that there, we've got our... Like that. 
So that actually tells us we can we can do something with this, but we can't keep going. We need a lot more stuff. Before we can get anything close to it. Before we even think about getting close to it. Unfortunately, I have hit the wrapping up point. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time off camera, kind of making the general components for these, but not the actual blocks. We'll go through all of it individually, separately, so don't worry about that. But I'll make the general components. So I, I know like I'll need the iron frames or the tubings or the wirings or the circuits or the pressure valves, that sort of thing. Whatever I need. I'll do that in between episodes and then we'll generally make the blocks. So I'll go very quickly. You won't even notice. So guys, this is the Trish Etikin signing off episode twenty seven. Maybe? Pretty sure it's not twenty seven. Have fun.